This, this is a typical color you might find around here sometimes, but even a, even a duller gray, um, a lot of times something like that, you'll find local flint. Um, a really, even a lighter gray. Okay. Like I said before, obsidian, sure. you see how smooth that breaks. And basically, um, anytime you break a glass, uh, something that's glass, if you ever saw a plate glass with a BB ever shot in it, it'll produce a 60 degree cone uh, when it breaks out the other side. And glass always will break on that same angle when it's struck from, from the front. Um, and it's, it's predictable, that's the good thing about it. So you know, when you hit it in a certain spot, you know how it's gonna break. This is a piece of uh, hogany obsidian, if you can see through that. Yeah. But uh, it's got brown streaks and some clear black. Um, that brown usually is from like mud or some other kind of impurities that get trapped. So you need the right size hammer. Um, so basically I'll take a hammer stone and what I'm trying to do, this one's fairly thin but it's got a curve to it and I want to thin this down a little bit and so I would just sort of, you sort of overlook a uh, piece over, see what you want to do, curve this way. So I know I want to try to get a straight point, I want to take some of this tip off. And whenever you do uh, flint napping, you, you do some abrading. And these sandstones work, work as an abrader too. And you'll find sometimes these hammer stones that are all scratched up. It's usually, it means they were a hammer stone. And I hold it supported a little bit on the knee, and you hit it in certain areas. It sort of takes uh, some experience. You have to elevate just enough so that flint, that shock wave can travel all the way back and get a nice thin, thin, uh, like so you sort of get your elbow in here and you get a nice rhythm and sometimes you can get the first one and you'll hear a little click when it breaks usually you can tell that one broke there's the chips there there's the flakes okay I got them off and uh, you keep working it that way and then sometimes you just want to shape this up it's not doesn't look like an arrowhead right now so I want to just, sort of just break some of this off and what I'm trying to do now is actually get it thicker this edge so I have something to work with. So I do that and I, I gotta decide pretty much pretty soon where the point's gonna be and it's probably gonna be here and so I want to get rid of some of this over here and I like sometimes the antlers I can, I can uh, just be a little more precise it's a little lighter but I, so it doesn't quite break as much. I'm just taking little chips off right now. This isn't so much I'm trying to take large flakes just take the little ones so that I can work from the other side then. You flip it over. Now I've got my shelf right there. I don't know if you can see that. Now I might be able to take a flake off this side from that shelf. But you don't want to start in the middle, okay? Sort of like, I forget how to explain it. You want to start at one end and work your way down. Start in the middle, you could just break right in half. Plus there's just too much strength there in the middle. So you got to work your way down the edge from one side to the other. So I'll just Take a couple flakes, and it could break. I'm not getting any flakes over here. Usually I go straight 